Again, with the no trespassing signs. Public property. Um, these people are flying a foreign flag out inside of their, outside their facility. Slow down, buddy. Pedestrians in the road. Tell me he's going to go out the other way that says entrance only. He would never do that. No. No way he would do that. Uh uh. Entrance only. Seatbelt or no seatbelt? No seatbelt. Hi, mister. How are you doing? Hi, sir. Officer, I know the Coast Police Department, sir. Everything okay? You're good, sir? All right. Just want to come from you. All right. You doing all right? Can I get your name? No? Alright, sir. 
Just please be careful with the roadway, okay? I just thought you get off the roadway. That's about it. I don't want anybody hitting you, all right? Have a good day, sir. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't kick your dog. I'm sorry? Don't eat yellow snow. Don't kick your dog. Okay. Are you like to give directives. I do, too. I'm sorry? You like to give directives. So do I. Oh, no, sir. I'm not. I'm just trying to make sure you're okay, sir. You're telling me not to get in the road, so that's a directive. Okay. So I'm giving you a directive. All right, sir. I apologize about that. I didn't mean to be like that. All right, just like I said, I just want to make sure you're safe. That's about it. All right, sir. You have a good one. Nope. And let's see if he puts his on. Nope, no seatbelt. And I'm sorry I didn't get the other unit number. This is 1183254, unit 103. The older gentleman didn't have his on either. So the two police cars that left the Combs City or Town of Combs Police Department, neither one of the two had their seatbelt on. I'm going to give them a little bit of leeway because of the fact that they were um, contacting a quote-unquote subject. But once he got back into his car, he should have put his on. And the gentleman that didn't actually get out but drove on, he should have put his on. So we'll need to find out what unit that was. I'm sure they already know. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't think the roster is that big of employees out here. So there it is. Another police department fails the seatbelt audit. They are out there popping people right and left in combs. Mostly for speeding. They like to set up on the highway. They're known for being very, very uh, anti-Fourth Amendment. They like to search people without reason, without probable cause. They did it to my parents. They done it to my uh, sister-in-law. Just start body searching them. Not a terry pat, just literally get out of the car and just do a full full body search right there on the side of the highway. So they're about to go out and issue dozens and dozens of seatbelt tickets probably and uh, neither one of them had theirs on. She had her seatbelt on, 1374538. She had hers on. Uh, that's a pretty beefy child, you guys. Looks like he's been on some serious steroids. Darn. actually got a pine tree out of here man that's exciting I like that
undercover. No, it's got an exempt plate. You can't be undercover with an exempt plate. That's never going to work. Well, let's record the little... From warfighter to crime fighter. Really? From warfighter to crime fighter. Depends on your definition of crime, it really does. It really, really does. By crime, do they mean the fake drug war? Is that what they mean by fighting crime? Yeah, I just spotted something, guys. Check this out. We're on camera also. Look at this. Look at this dash cam recording us. Can you see the red light on? It's a war of the cameras, guys. It's a camera war is what it is. So this is Rancho Viejo. It's just a small town and suburb of uh, Brownsville. Um, and I was hoping to catch some of the officers coming in or out in their vehicles so I could uh, do the seatbelt on it, but man, it is so quiet around here. Golly. I mean, I get the attraction if you're retired and you're just trying to hide from the world. Okay, but I mean, golly. I gotta have some kind of action, man. You know what I mean? I almost prefer to hear like gunshots at night than like just every day the same old drab. You know what I mean? Routine, daily, every day, with no hope for any change whatsoever. That just seems depressing to me. Maybe I'll change when I get older, but right now I just, oh no, man, that just seems so boring. I remember living in a suburb of Seattle years ago. In 2004, 2004 uh, sorry, 2014, my God, 2004, 2014, and uh, it was so boring. I, I would literally take the bus to Seattle like every couple of weeks or so just to, just to go experience some some city, uh, some city living because it just was my gosh, it was so slow. This park is closed due to fear of. Um, the most deadliest prolific virus on planet earth ever to occur since the beginning of time thousands of times worse than the spanish flu thousands of times worse than ebola thousands of times worse than aids and it's airborne and it kills everybody as long as you're one of the zero 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 point two percent of the people that die from it then it kills you 100 percent of the time 98.2 to 99 percent of us either won't get it or we'll get it and it'll just be like a little small fever you'll be you'll be uh you'll be tired eat some chicken soup take a nap and uh, you'll be okay. But anyway, that's why that park is shut down because of that. Oh, oh, and also, unlike the hazmat suit you have to wear for Ebola, you can just get away with wearing a paper mask or cloth cut from some underwear, and that'll protect you from this virus. That's how deadly it is. Worse than anything we've ever seen or experienced or imagined. Yet it can be instantly conquered by wearing a pair of underwear around your face. <laughs> oh my god, Americans are so dumb. Why? Why have we let these people, Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci,
Walmart. She's getting popped for something. Transparency guys, this is us watching our government and the performance of their duties. And what our tax dollars pay for. Out here? Camera. Yeah, I know. You know, it's just that I was at the truck stop. You were kind of. Did I interfere? No, no, you weren't interfering. You're, you're, okay. I was, just, I was just wondering if everything's okay. Public photography. That's fine. Keeping our uh, keeping right. our employees accountable. Since right. we pay your salary, we just want to watch what you're doing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. You be safe, all right? You too. guys as I was on that traffic stop really fast that's what kind of blew his mind I just happened to see it happen right in front of me so anyway um, yeah you, you you saw what happened you heard the interaction just wants to know what I'm doing out here he said I was a little bit close okay whatever um, that's subjective you know whatever he knows his reaction time um, he's gonna size me up and see my both my physical appearance as well as um, my demeanor and he's going to use that to determine whether or not he considers me to be someone who, if I was to pose a threat, would he be able to respond adequately and neutralize me? And so based upon all those factors and the fact that he's somewhat distracted writing the ticket, he's going to make a determination about how close you know I am to him. It's not just an automatic, well, I have to be this many feet or that many feet, like I hear a lot of people talking, uh, saying in, in videos. That's not exactly true. It's kind of... It's kind of up to the officer to determine what he considers too close. It doesn't mean that you're subject to his opinion necessarily, but he is going to probably articulate uh, some things when determining if he thinks that you're too close or not. Obviously, I'm not going to go right back to my vehicle because they'll pull me over immediately. This town is known for uh, giving tickets. So uh, anyway, looks like he's back at it again. Obviously, I'm not even gonna run, run and jump in my car because they're they're uh, they're sharking around like angry, like hungry fish. I had to make sure my zipper was up. That'd be embarrassing. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, he said I was a little bit close. Whatever, I wasn't. Um, you know, my, my opinion is I wasn't. When I asked it, I just did I interfere? And he said, No, 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 no. You didn't interfere, and I didn't. So you know. What am I doing out here? I mean, I got I got a camera. I'm recording you. I'm holding my public uh, officials accountable. Transparency, something they're not used to. I don't think they've ever had citizens record them out here in Los Fresno since this town started. Um, some of these towns have never even seen a citizen who even cares about holding their public uh, officials accountable. It's a total foreign concept to them. Uh, everybody out here just kisses their ass and worships them and tells them thanks for your service No matter how many people they kill and no matter how many unlawful stops they make and no matter how many expensive tickets they issue 
uh, people continue to just repeat that mantra over and over again. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your service. Because they think that they're being patriotic. They think that they're being American. And it's just the dumbest thing on earth to think that that makes you a patriot. Anyway, it's my opinion. Uh, moving right along here, I'm going to figure out a way to get back to my car without getting pulled over immediately. And head on over to their police station. Yay! capture any of them coming in or out guys. Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Wonder if someone wasn't supposed to be in there right now. Maybe they're supposed to be on patrol. He kind of came out of there like gangbusters. Like maybe uh, he wasn't supposed to be in there. Interesting. Came out of there like gangbusters. Well, it might be time to move on to uh, Port Isabel, guys. They're next on the list, and then South Padre Island. I just gotta eat something because I'm literally dying right now. Like I'm about to pass out. I'm so hungry. It's ridiculous. Donkey sounds good right now.